I'm currently working on uh, <laughs> building a hotel chain uh, from scratch. My name is Jeremy Cowart. I am a photographer. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I still live in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a photographer. I shot for the last 10 years professionally, uh, from the Kardashians to Taylor Swift. Worked with a lot of uh, celebrities over the past decade. I do a lot of humanitarian work. Founded a nonprofit called Help Portrait, where we give photos to people in need. And then I've done lots of various uh, independent projects in third world countries. As a kid, I was just super, super normal, average, quiet, shy, you know, all those things just kind of blended into the rest of the kids and uh, just never thought I could do much, never expected much out of myself. But my parents were a huge force in my life, always encouraging me. And uh, in college, you know, at some point my mom gave me a computer and they told me about graphic design. So I wanted to be a painter, wanted to be a fine artist. And so they introduced computers and Photoshop into my life, which was amazing. I was doing design and uh, a mentor kind of uh, friend just told me, he was like, hey, you should get into photography, you should go buy a camera. This is when digital photography was brand new. This was my first digital camera and this is what I shot with there for quite a while. Three freaking megapixels, it's unbelievable. So yeah, this thing still turns on and takes pictures and uh, I loved it. I shot all kinds of stuff with it. I was actually shooting for record labels. Like they were hiring me to shoot jobs. At the time it was crazy money to go out and photograph people with a little point and shoot. I knew how to compose and I knew light and color and so I had that you know, step up from knowing graphic design. Didn't have a clue, never studied photography, didn't know anything about it other than I can hold a camera, look at the viewfinder and take a picture. This is the main gear I take in my camera bags. The Canon 5DS and the 24 to 70, 2.8. I love this new Canon lens, the 1 to 400. Traditionally, I've used the 70 to 200, 2.8. I have another 5DS in the camera bag. Got uh, various pocket wizards to trigger my lights. Pretty much always carry the 85 millimeter 1.2 in my camera bag. Now I've got the 16 to 35 I use a lot. I've got the 50 millimeter 1.2, 100 millimeter macro, the 70 to 200. So those are pretty much my standard lenses that I use. My favorite lights to use are the uh, Profoto B1s. This thing is amazing. I love not having a battery attached to it. My first shoot using this was in Iceland with Image and Heat, and I was just blown away that we could be in extreme weather conditions and just be holding a light with nothing attached and still have a, a light to use all day. So this is my photo studio. This is where I do a lot of shoots, not all of them, but I do shoot a lot here. We just had Garth Brooks in here recently. I just did an event here yesterday, my first ever meetup with my social media followers. We had a ton of people crowded in here. That was a blast. And uh, then I have this wall here that rolls around the studio and actually stores light stands and tripods and V flats and all kinds of other things that I use on shoots. So we came in and redid everything. We hand painted the floors, stained them, dropped, spilled paint everywhere. And then I bought these uh, three layered curtain thing from Ikea uh, and I walked into Ikea and I held the different white curtains up against the light because I wanted a curtain that diffused the light but you couldn't see through it and I didn't want you to be able to see through it for privacy obviously but um, I just need that nice diffused light and then a second layer of textured linen and then a third layer of blackout so when I need the studio to be dark I can pull the black curtains and the space literally goes pitch black. So one of my favorite things is this projector I have right overhead. I shoot a lot with projection, and usually if you have a projector coming directly at the subject, it puts a shadow on the wall behind them, and I don't like that because I'm shooting, I can see the shadow. So with an ultra short throw projector, this one's made by Epson, um, it projects downwards, and I can fill this whole wall with a huge image. It kind of like acts like a green screen, so I can put any texture, anything behind me. The more you learn technically, the more you can achieve creatively. And I say that because when I was an artist, I didn't learn anything technical. I was just like that artist, like, oh, I'm just gonna live off my creativity and my genius, and I'm gonna just do awesome stuff. 
And there is part of that that can work well, but what I've learned 10 years later is that, oh, the more I do learn the technical stuff, the more that opens up what I can do creatively. And you're never gonna be ready. You're never gonna have it all together. You just have to jump. You just have to go and start doing it. That's all I've ever done with all my projects, all my, I mean, I'm now trying to build a hotel. My name is Jeremy Cower, and with your help, we are about to build a hotel unlike anything the world has ever seen. I have traveled as a photographer to over 25 countries, staying in countless hotels. They all at least get the job done. But what if they could do more? Could your stay in a hotel help create a better life for someone else? The idea is that everything in the building is doing something. It's connected to a cause or nonprofit. So by staying at this hotel, by choosing this hotel, you are quote unquote changing the world in your sleep from how does the room service help? How do the desks help? How does the internet fee help? There are just so many great nonprofits out there that I love the idea of kind of putting them all under one roof in a very creative, interesting way and in a non non profity way. I want to feel creative and bright and celebratory and and so yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. <laughs> a clue to build a hotel, but I have an idea, I have a vision, finding the people to bring into my world that do know. So I think no matter what you're doing, it's really knowing your weaknesses. I'm always super aware of what I'm not good at, and, and so I find people that can fill in the gaps, because everything I do pretty much involves other people, whether it's volunteer help or interns or assistants or business manager. I'm always finding the right people. That's a huge part of everything I do. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Creative Spaces TV. I'm sitting at an airport right now, but I'm so excited to start releasing these new episodes. I just want to say thank you to Jeremy Cower. He is such a talented individual, and how about Purpose Hotel? If you have not checked out the Kickstarter link down below, um, do it, because you can be a co-founder in starting a hotel. Insane. If you're new around here, my name is Sarah Dici. I do daily vlogs, I do Creative Spaces TV, and a lot of other stuff on this YouTube channel. So let me know if you like this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not yet. And I will see you guys in the next Creative Spaces TV episode next Tuesday. I'm excited. Bye.